Let's start with performance because that's where everyone feels the impact first. JDK25 introduces compact object headers and new AOT optimizations. Which of these do you think deliver the biggest real-world gains, especially for enterprise workloads where startup time and throughput really matter? The, the thing with those is that they're, they're kind of slightly different in their approach to how they, they, they solve the performance problem. Because if we look at the object headers and the compact object headers, the idea behind that is to reduce the amount of space that's used in the heap. So we've seen some pretty impressive results with that. There was one particular benchmark, which is very commonly used, Spec JBB. Um, that's a sort of enterprise benchmark that a lot of people look at. And when they ran that with the compact object headers, they got 22% less um, in terms of the heap space and 8% less in terms of the, um, the, the um, CPU utilization. So that's, that's a good thing in terms of the overall performance of your application. But from the ahead of time situation, what that is looking at is how quickly you can get your application to its optimum level of performance. And that's one of the things that Java's always struggled with is the fact that because it is a um, interpreted language, it has bytecodes rather than native instructions. What we have to do is go through this warm up where we adaptively compile Frequently used, frequently used pieces of code, and we do that gradually. So it takes time to find all those pieces of code and compile them. Now, what Head of Time is doing is saying, okay, well, rather than starting from scratch every time you start the same application, that's very relevant when you're running a microservice and you're starting up multiple instances. What we'll do is we'll start up the application, and then when it's reached its optimum level of performance, take a snapshot of what the state of the machine is so that when we start again we can feed that back in and have an idea of what happened before and then take advantage of that so it's, it's very useful in that respect and beyond these what are the things that you are personally excited about in this release yeah i mean there's, there's a lot of work going on at the language level um, and there's a bigger project called Amber, which is delivering sort of features as we go through. And the thing with uh, Project Amber is there's gradual sort of additions to the language. And some of the things that I've certainly seen recently, which I really like, are around pattern matching. And we're gradually making that more and more part of the language. So I'm, I'm sort of impressed at the way these things have been added. And JDK25 has more advances in that particular area. 